What if I told you that Hawaiians, Samoans, Tahitians, Tongans, Maori from New Zealand, and even the mysterious people of Easter Island all share the same ancestors as Filipinos? What if DNA testing proved that when Pacific Islanders take ancestry tests, 75% of their genetic makeup shows up as Filipino? What if the greatest seafaring expansion in human history, spanning from Madagascar to Easter Island, covering nearly two-thirds of Earth's circumference, started with ancient Filipinos leaving the Philippines 5,000 years ago? This isn't mythology. This isn't theory. This is genetic proof published by Stanford University, the National Geographic Genographic Project, and peer-reviewed scientific journals. By the end of this video, you're going to understand that Moana wasn't just a story. It was history. And that history began in the Philippines. Stay with me, because what I'm about to show you connects Filipinos to every Pacific Island culture, from Hawaii to New Zealand. And the DNA evidence is undeniable. What's up, everyone? Before we dive into this incredible genetic discovery, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications because we're about to reveal how ancient Filipinos became the ancestors of millions of Pacific Islanders across the world. Let me start with something that shocked genetic researchers. When 23andMe and other DNA testing companies started analyzing Pacific Islander ancestry, they ran into a problem. People from Samoa, Tonga, Guam, and even Hawaii were showing massive percentages of what the genetic algorithms initially labeled as Filipino ancestry. We're not talking about small amounts. We're talking about averages of 75% in Samoa, 71% in Tonga, 68% in Guam, and 18% in Hawaii. Even people from Madagascar, an island off the coast of Africa, literally on the opposite side of the planet, showed 34% Filipino genetic markers. The researchers quickly realized this wasn't a mistake in their algorithm. This was revealing something profound about human history. This so-called Filipino ancestry wasn't just Filipino, it was Austronesian, a shared genetic heritage spread across nearly two-thirds of the circumference of the globe by seafaring people who began their expansion from the Philippines approximately 5,000 years ago. Now let me explain what Austronesian means, because this is crucial to understanding the scope of what we're talking about. Austronesian refers to both a language family and a genetic ancestry group. Austronesian languages are spoken by over 400 million people across a massive geographic area stretching from Madagascar in the west to Easter Island in the east from Taiwan in the north to New Zealand in the south. This language family includes Filipino languages like Tagalog, Cebuano, and Ilocano, along with Hawaiian, Samoan, Tongan, Tahitian, Maori, Malagasy from Madagascar, and hundreds of other languages. And here's what's absolutely mind-blowing. Linguistic analysis shows that all of these languages share a common root, they all evolved from a single ancestor language that was spoken thousands of years ago by people who originated in the region that includes Taiwan, the Philippines, and island Southeast Asia. But we're not just talking about languages, we're talking about DNA. Genetic studies using both mitochondrial DNA passed down from mothers and Y-chromosome DNA passed down from fathers have traced the ancestry of Pacific Islanders directly back to the Philippines and surrounding regions. When geneticists built a family tree of Austronesian populations based on DNA analysis, guess what they found? The tree shows expansion routes flowing from Taiwan through the Philippines, then spreading east into the Pacific and west to Madagascar. The Philippines isn't just part of this story. The Philippines is central to this story. It was a major staging area, a genetic mixing zone, and a launching point for some of the most remarkable maritime expeditions in human history. Let me walk you through the timeline of this incredible expansion, because when you see the scope and speed of it, you'll understand why this is considered one of the greatest achievements in human history. Around 5,000 years ago, Austronesian-speaking people, ancestors of modern Filipinos, 
began leaving the Philippines and island Southeast Asia in massive waves of migration. They traveled in sophisticated ocean-going canoes, carrying with them not just their families, but their entire culture. Plants like taro and breadfruit, animals like pigs and chickens, technologies like pottery and weaving, and most importantly, their knowledge of navigation and seafaring. By approximately 3,500 years ago, these voyagers had reached the Bismarck Archipelago in Melanesia. From there, they continued east, reaching Fiji, Samoa, and Tonga by about 3,000 years ago. Then came a pause. For about 1,500 years, these populations consolidated in Western Polynesia, developing what we now recognize as Polynesian culture, a distinctive branch of the Austronesian family tree. And then, around 1,000 years ago, they exploded outward again in what's called the Polynesian expansion. They reached the Marquesas Islands, the Society Islands, and eventually pushed to the absolute limits of the Pacific. Hawaii in the north, Easter Island in the east, and New Zealand in the south. Think about those distances. From Samoa to Hawaii is over 2,500 miles of open ocean. From Tahiti to Easter Island is over 2,000 miles. From the tropical Pacific to New Zealand means sailing into completely different climate zones. And they did all of this without compasses, without GPS, without metal tools, without any of the navigation technology we consider essential. They used star navigation, reading ocean swells, observing bird flight patterns, and an intimate knowledge of winds and currents passed down through generations. This is some of the most advanced seafaring ever achieved by any culture in human history. Now here's where the genetic evidence gets really specific and really fascinating. Researchers have identified particular genetic markers that track this expansion. The most important is mitochondrial DNA haplogroup B4A1A1, known as the Polynesian motif. This specific genetic signature is found at extremely high frequencies in Polynesian populations. When you trace where it came from, it leads directly back through the Philippines to Taiwan and Southeast Asia. It's a genetic breadcrumb trail showing exactly how these populations moved across the Pacific. But there's more. Y chromosome studies reveal a pattern that's equally clear. Haplogroup O1-M119, which is common in Filipinos, is also found throughout Polynesia, Micronesia, and Eastern Indonesia. Haplogroup O1-2-M50, another marker prevalent in Filipino populations, shows the same pattern of distribution. These aren't coincidences. These are genetic signatures of ancestry shared across thousands of miles of ocean because people who carried these genes sailed from the Philippines and island Southeast Asia to populate the entire Pacific. And it's not just human DNA that tells this story. Scientists have traced the genetics of plants and animals that traveled with these ancient mariners, and the evidence is just as compelling. Paper mulberry, a plant used to make bark cloth throughout the Pacific, has been DNA tested. Researchers analyzed 604 samples from across China, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific Islands. They found that a specific genetic variant of paper mulberry, labeled CP17, is found in Sulawesi, Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, and throughout Polynesia, including Easter Island. And where does this variant originate? South Central Taiwan and the Philippines. The paper mulberry literally hitched a ride across the Pacific in Austronesian canoes, and its genetic trail matches the human genetic trail perfectly. Chickens tell a similar story. Ancient DNA studies of Polynesian chickens revealed that they have genetic roots in the Philippines. When researchers looked at which populations of chickens are most closely related to Polynesian chickens, they kept coming back to the Philippines and neighboring regions. We don't find this genetic signature anywhere else in the world, except in the Philippines and neighboring areas, stated Professor Alan Cooper, who directed the study at the Australian Center for Ancient DNA. Even the bacteria in people's guts, yes, you read that right, gut bacteria, show patterns consistent with Austronesian expansion from the Philippines. 
When you look at all these independent lines of evidence, human DNA, plant DNA, animal DNA, bacterial DNA, plus linguistics and archaeology, they all point to the same story. A massive human migration that originated in or passed through the Philippines, spreading Austronesian culture and genetics across the Pacific. Now let me address something important. The genetic picture is actually more complex than I've described so far, and that complexity makes the story even more interesting. When Austronesian voyagers moved through Melanesia and into the Pacific, they didn't travel through empty islands. There were already people living in near Oceania, Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands, and nearby areas. These were Melanesians and Papuans whose ancestors had arrived over 50,000 years ago during an earlier phase of human migration. So what happened when Austronesian voyagers encountered these existing populations? They mixed, they intermarried, they shared technology and culture. Genetic studies show that modern Polynesians have about 79% Austronesian ancestry and about 21% Melanesian slash Papuan ancestry. This means that as Austronesians moved through the Pacific, they incorporated people and genes from the populations they encountered, creating the unique genetic and cultural mix that we see in Polynesian populations today.